As you guys are aware, in the most recent update, they buffed Cream Puff Cookie's defense by 8% in HP by eight and a half percent. And additionally, they also dropped Cream Puff Cookie's magic candy. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Cream Puff Cookie and discussing everything, the best toppings, what type of content she's really good at, and why you guys should absolutely build her. Diving right in, you can see we've got Cream Puff Cookie at a max level 75 and a five-star ascension. When it comes to her skills, she provides a tornado of jellies that basically does AOE damage and provides healing for all of your party members. However, her skill actually has two different modifiers on it called success and a great success. As you can see, if you cast it with a great success, the spell will actually inflict greater damage and heal a greater amount of HP. So basically the same thing as her popping off a critical strike. For whatever reason, Dev Sisters just renamed it specifically for Cream Puff Cookie. In addition to her skill, the Magic Candy also enhances that. The Magic Candy Extra Cream at a 16 second cooldown. Cream Puff Cookie learns a couple of new tricks with Extra Cream. Upon utilizing her skill, she will grant the attack up buff relative to her own crit percent as of before the start of the battle to all of her allies. Every time she manages to cast a successful spell, Cream Puff Cookie earns a stack of cream buff. The cream buff will enhance her skill and increase her damage resistance. So now in addition to her providing AOE damage and AOE healing to all of your party members, now with the magic candy, she's going to be increasing their attack percent for a short duration. On top of that, enhancing her skill and her damage resistance upon a great successful cast. As for the extra detail, she's going to have a passive increase to her crit by 25%. This is going to be at a base value of a level 30 magic candy. Not only that, the attack percent is going to be increased by 1% for every 1% of crit percent for 15 seconds. It does have a cap at 37.5% though, and it does not have the ability to stack. Additionally here, her successful spell damage is going to be increased by 30% for the attack. And then also the damage resistance is going to be increased by 18.5%. And because her skill and magic candy actually scale off of the crit percent, 100% you want to be running a full apple jelly set to fully take advantage of it. Now, as far as the best toppings go, a full apple jelly set is going to be ideal. The main focus here is going to be stacking up at least 8.5% for the overall cooldown. Additionally here, damage resistance, crit percent, chance, and then also attack are going to be the ideal secondary substats. Now, although I mentioned a full apple jelly set early is going to be ideal for most players, at least starting out utilizing cream puff cookie. However, however, as you continue to level up her magic candy and increase it to those milestones, level 10, level 20, and level 30, you're going to be getting a giant amount of extra crit percent chance via that magic candy. In doing so, you don't need as much crit percent via the toppings. Therefore, we can actually swap out a couple of the apple jellies to searing raspberries to take advantage of the additional attack, which will obviously do more damage and provide more healing. Alrighty, so when it comes to gameplay, Cream Puff Cookie is actually really good in the world exploration, even when it comes to normal mode and dark mode for episode 16. In addition to world exploration, she's also really good and strong in the Cookie Alliance. I did a guide recently on Season 15. Even though Season 15 is about to end, it doesn't matter. Cream Puff Cookie is still very, very strong to add to any Cookie Alliance team. Next, we have Guild Bosses, specifically the Avatar of Destiny. Cream Puff Cookie is going to be in the top meta currently to achieve the highest score possible in the Avatar of Destiny. That team is going to be Macaroon in the front, Cherry Blossom and Squid Ink in the center, and then Rye Cookie and then Cream Puff in the back. And yes, I also know that the top team for this Avatar of Destiny is actually going to be swapping out Cherry Blossom now to Blackberry Cookie. However, for the majority of the player base, they are going to be utilizing the Cherry Blossom as they already currently have her built. And not only that, this specific team takes a lot of work and timing. And then last but not least, we have the Kingdom Arena. However, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and Cream Puff Cookie is just simply not really worth the investment when it comes to the overall arena. Yes, you can absolutely utilize her. This has been a team that I have seen periodically and that I have tested out myself a good amount. That's going to be Dark Cacao and Hollyberry Cookie in the front, Moonlight Cookie in the center, with Cream Puff Cookie and BTS in the back. Obviously, the Old Pilgrim Scroll, the Whistle, and then also the Jelly Watch. Although, you can obviously get some wins here and there utilizing this team in the arena. It's just not simply going to keep up with the current state of the meta, or at least not as of right now. 
Naturally, that can change as new cookies come out, new magic candies come out, or even other cookies get buffed, making Co Green Puff Cookie very viable on other team compositions. And with that being said, just to do a quick recap here, yes, Cream Puff Cookie is absolutely top tier, and you want to make sure that you are building her and utilizing her right now, especially for, if nothing else, the guild boss battle system for the top meta team of the Avatar of Destiny. Increasing that score when it comes to the end of the season will net you more and handsome rewards. And with that, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. If you guys have any additional questions, and if you haven't done so already, I invite you to join my Discord. You will always find that link provided down below. As always, though, with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.